all right welcome back over the last video we got started with uh, logging how you could uh, troubleshoot your application and see what's running in the back end uh, we also see how you could SSH into your uh, Linux container uh, host wherein your application is hosted we also got started with uh, saw a glimpse about the advanced tooling which is kudu console it's an open source platform again to visualize uh, what's happening in the back end where your application is uh, hosted uh, one of the question frequent question is uh, okay my application is hosted into somewhere in microsoft it's a managed service i don't know where it is hosted how do you see the logs how do you see where my files are being deployed my code is all the code and artifacts are being deployed so we got started with um, the kudu console and saw how you could just track down uh, whenever in case if you want to troubleshoot and dig a little deeper what next uh, so logging is fine um, alerting is one of the most important thing again if you are coming from a devops sre or infrastructure background you got to be alerted notified whenever something has gone wrong and you want to understand that how you could uh, just uh, uh, fix them auto alerting features and you want to want to get notified whenever something has gone wrong like the cpu utilization has gone beyond 70 to 80 percent or your application is uh, responding slow number of requests is high and all those things you need to track down how do you do that you do that using the logging and alerting so alerting is one of the feature which comes by default from uh, azure web app you just need to configure this and you don't need to set up any software or anything uh, beyond and over above which you already have so let's get started how do you get started with logging this is my application uh, which is hosted and it's a hello world application which we have deployed together now what we're going to do is we're going to configure the alert so as soon as you go to the application on the left hand side panel you would see something called as monitoring and underneath the monitoring you have got alerts so if you click on alerts uh, you would see that there's nothing at the moment all empty uh, and you would like to set up an alert which kind of notifies you whenever something has gone wrong so conditions the first important part is the condition this is the manual setup i'm going to show you how you could automate this entire process but before that let's go and try to understand how do you set up the alerting manually so if you go to the condition um, you will see that there are a plethora of conditions available and you could just select one of them so you've got connections average memory set data in data out cpu time any 200 error or 40 error which you're receiving io bytes and request total app domains there are a lot of uh, metrics available you could just choose any of them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to probably select the request and I want to see that whenever my number of requests are more than probably two, I want to get notified. This is just for the sake of uh, getting an alerts. So this is specifically handy when you have uh, some sort of sales, if you're working on e-commerce or you're seeing uh, a high frequency and you want to track down, okay, whenever... Uh, my requests are more than usual i want to get notified you see that average is generally um when when you deploy your application you see that your average is generally hovering around 13 or 14 and uh, if you see that okay more than 14 whenever you see some hits you want to get notified so i'm um, i've set it for two and i'm gonna hit on done and my condition is set up and then my action group again action group is uh, important uh, because it let us know where do you want to give those alerts to now I'm going to give this action group a name my Azure app alert review plus create notification notification types going to be email and you could set up email messages azure push app notification voice whatever is appropriate to your particular geography location you could just select that i'm gonna for the sake of simplicity i'm gonna select the email and i'm gonna type in aks devops 
shan at the rate outlook.com and obviously over here you can give a group name or your individual name as well like I've done and I'm gonna hit on review plus create give it a name email notification that's pretty much all hit on review plus create and give it few seconds to get created so you could always add maybe a group of DevOps engineer where your multiple users are there and that's being created um, you could select the severity as well uh, that whenever the request are more than two you want to get notified with severity one so that you can track down okay these are the number of sub ones you have received uh, during your on-call sessions or whatever it is and you would select the resource group alert name um, request alert your number of description would be again an optional but uh, highly recommend you to give the description because whenever you receive the email you would see a description as well your number of requests are higher than usual and that's about it you hit on create rule and what I would see do is I would start hitting the application uh, you could do a curl or you could do a manual hit as well so that there are more number of requests going on over there and I'm gonna hit my outlook open my outlook where I've configured it and you should see that uh, after a few minutes you should start seeing some emails I'm gonna wait for a few minutes uh, and if I go to the Azure app service I could see the number of requests I'm gonna give it a few seconds so that the number of requests are more than what we have said I'm gonna hit it for a few seconds and let it trigger the alert all right let's go to our app services and go to the alert section again which was empty a couple of minutes back and if you go to the manage alert rule we should see that there is already an alert created request alert that's what we created few um, minutes back and if you go to our uh, email notification you would see that okay you've been added into the my azure app action group um, because i was added into it and you would see that an alert is also triggered with the severity one and you would see that the metrics name for which um, namespace or metric it was created for dimension it says that over the last five minutes your number of requests was seven and we uh, put it as a two as a threshold that whenever it's more than two uh, please throw an alert in this case it was seven and it also gives us a description that your number of requests are higher than usual and you've started already started receiving the email you will see that it has continuously throwing uh, the alert and now if you go to our alerting section again go to the app services and go to the alerts again you would be able to see that okay these were few of the alerts uh, which were triggered you would see that there's one alert already triggered uh, with the severity one it's t still open uh, until unless you take an action it will uh, still be uh, open and if you click on over here you could just acknowledge it uh, go to the change state and uh, probably if you've taken an action or acknowledged it just click on act acknowledge okay I get it um, this was triggered as a part of testing and now you could just click on okay and this would 
just vanish away from here because you've already acknowledged it okay um, the status would change from open to acknowledge and you see that the status is now changed from new to acknowledged and uh, all of the team members in your team devops or intro whatever team it is would be notified okay this alert was already taken care by you and no action needs to be taken and that was about it you could always change the manage alert rules here uh, you could just go ahead and edit and add new members as well uh, or change the um, alert type from email to uh, SMS as well these are chargeable pretty pretty nominal charges uh, 0.10 cents which is uh, pretty reasonable and that's about it this is how you kind of set up your alerts manually um, stay tuned we're going to be telling you how you could just automatically set up all these and codify whatever you have done manually i hope this was informative i'll see you in a while thank you